Welcome back to Big Jimmy. You could call me DJ and hello to the Bushel of Bad Apples. Want to join the Bushel? Hit the subscribe button down below to join this fabulously flawed family. And today we're taking a look at the Ashton Maduro here. This is the Ashton Classic Maduro. Hopefully we are in focus. It's very early in the morning. Um, I actually woke up at 5.40 on a Sunday to uh, enjoy the morning. Um, and then my daughter came downstairs way earlier than expected. So I was like, hey, let's go shoot some videos to kind of salvage this film. This is this morning. So we're smoking the Ashton VSG. We're not, we're not doing that. We're smoking the Ashton Maduro. And if you clicked on this video, the title is because Hound Dog recently put out a list of his favorite Maduros. And this cigar was one of his top three Maduros. So let's check it out. So, smoking this first thing in the morning, I wanted to grab some coffee, black coffee. I wanted to grab some coffee to go with this cigar to kind of, you know, have a nice little morning cigar. Haven't done that in a long time. And I came up to my garage and sitting just right behind the camera there was a fucking mouse. Just chilling in my garage, trying to stay warm because it was cold for the first time. So I got to clean that later because he left a bunch of mouse shit just in the middle of my garage. Okay, so far, the Ashton Maduro is a solid Maduro cigar. You get a hint of that barnyard that people like to talk about. That shitty tobacco taste. Not much. Just a slight whisper of it uh, but for the most part it just tastes like pretty dark tobacco a little bit of sweetness leather earth and cocoa nibs so I mean honestly not terrible I'm hoping the maduro -y goes or the manure -y part goes away because we don't want that obviously um, the draw is tight I used my favorite method, which is cutting the cap off just with a knife. You just run along the ridge of the cap, and the cap just pops right off. No crunch, no crack, no nothing. It's the cleanest way to do it. Um, but it's got a tight draw. And it feels like it's tight right in here, right? Right up here. It feels very much like a rock. And that's probably the most annoying spot to get a blockage of stem or overpacked because, in my opinion, there's not a ton you can do about that. You know, if you got a blockage down here, if you have a blockage down here, you're going to you're gonna smoke through that pretty quickly, right? But the further you get up on the cigar, the more it's going to ruin your cigar experience. So I'm hoping that it just needs to wake up a little bit and it'll open up. And that's probably not what's going to happen, but I'm hoping. Um, and I'll keep puffing this down. But I want you all to tell me in the comment section down below, what are your top three Maduro cigars? Keep this little train from Hound Dog going. Let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite top three go-to Maduro cigars in the comment section down below. I'm going to keep puffing on this. I'll get a review back up to you. Or I'll get an update to you soon. I got Corona to open and we're going to shoot a little bit of lists. And we're back. We're here now. The sun is coming up so i adjusted my lighting hopefully it looks nice and good for you beautiful people it is now 725 i started smoking this at like 6 40 i think so you know it's doing well i shot a open unboxing for corona so got all that taken care of hope you guys have seen that by now it should have came out maybe wednesday i don't know i don't know when you saw it but update on the maduro here the diamond crown is better Diamond Crown Maduro is better than the cigar. You do get some nice cocoa notes from this cigar, but predominantly, you're getting some pepper, you're getting some leather, and you're getting some earth. Is it bad? No, but I was hoping for more of like a skiing down chocolate mountain effect here. Not a bad Maduro, I enjoy it, but I'm not a huge fan of Ashton. I think Ashton is kind of crappy. Um, if I'm going to be absolutely honest, 
uh, I've told, I told you guys this story before, but there's been a lot of new people. The first experience I've ever had with Ashton, I spite bought it, kind of like my judge story. If you know my story about the um, my father, the judge, I spite bought that cigar because a little gremlin acted like I didn't belong. So I bought that cigar. It was like $18 when I bought it. I paid too much money for it, but it was a lovely cigar. Similar experience with my first Ashton classic ever. I'm on a date with my wife and we're hanging out. We're in downtown Grapevine. And uh, I think we went to Big Fish, maybe. I don't remember. But she's like, hey, you want to go buy some cigars? And I'm like, you want me to go buy cigars on our date? Okay. Like, we're not going to say no to that. So we go down to Old Grapevine Tobacco, which, if you're in the budget market, ask them for their budget section in the back. They have a whole room of, like, 5 to $1 cigars. Don't buy their house blend. It's absolute ass. But everything else they sell... In that back room, there's like, you can get Rough Rider Sweets back there. You can get the Flor de Olivas in singles. You don't have to buy a whole bundle of them. They got a room in the back if you're looking for frugal, frugal. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But I walk in there, and I don't know that. The first time I go in, it's the first time I've ever been in, um, it's the second time. It's the second time I've ever been in this shop. And there's three rooms. There's one here, there's one here, and there's the one in the back. And we walk in the front door and immediately go to this room on the left here. And I'm looking around, and I'm checking out the pricing, and I'm like, okay. Nothing in here is really under $15, but we're looking around. I'm like, all right, they got Sin Compromiso, they got Ashton, they got Placencia, they got this, they got that. And we're kind of just looking around. I'm taking my time. I'm just checking out cigars. And I've always said this. I don't like going to cigar shops because they're incredibly judgy. People tell you the cigar community is a very accepting community. That's bullshit. Online, we're pretty accepting. In person, it's a lot of old people that judge you for smoking cigars. That's what it is. People judge you for what you smoke constantly in the cigar world, and it's not hold your hand, skip through the field. It's just not. Let's let's not lie to each other, okay? Brother Alif, kind of, fuck you for smoking that brand. You don't like this? You're a bitch. You don't smoke Cubans? You're trash. You smoke flavored cigars? Fuck you, you're a child. That's the cigar community. Any hoogles. I go in, and this older man, nice man, like a straw hot, Harry Potter glasses, you know, little like farmer, comes in and goes, hey, um... Um, maybe try one of the other rooms. I go, okay. He goes, yeah, this is, this is more of our premium stuff. I go, oh, okay. So I go to their, their main room that has, um, you know, five to $15 stuff in it. And I'm looking around and I pick up a couple new sticks that I wanted to smoke for the channel anyway. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And I go to the back room with the cheap stuff and get some frugal stuff as well. And then I'm going to check out. And I'm like, I got everything I want. And my wife turns to me. She goes, you get in that fucking expensive room and you go buy something right now. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah. He thinks we don't belong in that you go buy something from that expensive room over there. So I went in and I bought an Ashton Classic for like 12, 15 bucks, which was stupid because I know for a fact you get the exact same cigar at Total Wine for $8. I don't even think I reviewed it. I think I just smoked it that night with my wife. And I'm like, this is the most boring Connecticut cigar I've ever smoked in my life. There's absolutely nothing to it. Who would pay $15 to, as Keelan puts it, smoke a paper bag and that is the ashton classic this ashton maduro is better there is a medium plus as far as the body goes medium to light strength so very nice very nice full robust but not going to overpower you i'm smoking on a completely empty stomach first thing in the morning right there are some nice chocolatey notes to it and there's some leather and there's a little bit of pepper and there's a little nice wood tons of more flavor in this maduro it's so much better than the connecticut but smoke the Diamond Crown Maduro, it's better. Smoke so many different Maduro cigars that are going to give you more enjoyable, chocolatey, creamy notes. The Juarez by Crown Heads is better than this cigar. Uh, it's not a bad cigar by any means. It's a very classic Maduro, which is probably what it's meant to be. To me, that's just a little boring. But, you know, after me. It has a great draw. Oh, I didn't mention this. When I cut the camera before, so initially, I did the traditional, just cut the cap off. And a lot of old timers will tell you, including Steve Sock himself, you don't need a fucking cutter, even though he sells fucking cutters. Anyway, here, enjoy this creamy, blurry background for as long as you can, because it's about to go away. We should still get some nice bokeh, but I shouldn't look like a freaking...
piece of white bread anymore. There we go. Beautiful cigar, smokes well, looks real pretty. I enjoy it. It's a fantastic Maduro, don't get me wrong. Yeah, fuck no. No. So this is a good question from the live, um, the last live we did. Someone asked, at what price point do you expect a cigar to basically bump up in quality? And Hound Dog said $20. I believe any cigar at any price point should be great, depending on what you're looking for. But if you go over $15, in my opinion, you better be an amazing cigar. This smokes as good as a $10 cigar, but costs over $15. So... Again, it's a good cigar, but if you wanted a more chocolatey note, you could get a Juarez. Shit, you could get a uh, Charter Oak Maduro. Is the tobacco gonna be as good? Honestly, yeah, especially in the Juarez, which is a little more expensive than the Charter Oak. There's just so many options. Uh, you could smoke great for eight to $10 still. Eight to $10, which if you go $10, that's 50% cheaper, right? Or, yeah, this would be 50% more expensive than a $10 cigar. So are you getting 50% better of an experience for that extra fiber? I don't think so. I don't think you've stepped into that, that premium territory yet. And the people are like, well, I can get them on blank blank on blank blank for $3. I'm like, great, that's not the point. Where you can get them and how much you can get them for are different than what the MSRP of the cigar is. That's what it's meant to be sold at. They put it, the person who made this cigar went, it belongs in this category of fighter. You can't be like, well, I can get it in this category of fighter so I can compare it to those. No, you have to compare it to this category of fighter. Anyway, I'm gonna smoke this down. I'll get back with you guys with final thirds, final thoughts in a minute, but you know, it is burning well. It is burning well. Let's get a bit. We're back. We are burning the heck out of the band. Cigar light, what are you doing? We are burning the heck out of this band of the Ashton Maduro, so I'm gonna take that off. Uh, the sun fully came up and blew out my set, so now we are in the dark. So things probably look wildly different. Um, good cigar overall. I like it. It's not the most amazing thing in the world, but it's solid, it's good. It's a little pricey for what I think you get, but if you like Ashen, if you like that refinedness, go nuts. I can't tell you what to do. Would I smoke this cigar again? Yes. Would I gift it to a friend? Yes. Would I personally purchase it or pursue it in any way at all? No. So take that with as you will. Personally, I'm not going to go try and find it. I'm not going to go look for it. But if someone handed it to me and was like, hey, you want it? I wouldn't tell them no. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. Oh, uh, as far as like flavors and stuff like that, it's the same. It didn't grow, it didn't shrink, it didn't get worse, it didn't get better. It's just very <laughs> the whole way through. Is it bad? No, but I wish it was better. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching, PJ, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And as a reminder, please follow me over on Rumble, TikTok, and Instagram if you have them. Links are in the description down below. Just in case things ever go belly up here on YouTube, we want to make sure the bushel stays together.